All right, well, thank you for joining me. It's time to finish this piece in which I call Head and Tail. Uh, yesterday I did the one with uh, yellow in it and I had some uh, pre-mixed colors over here of primary yellow. One I mixed with a little bit of silver and the other one with uh, white so I had a uh, lighter colored there and then silver and gold and black and white. And so this time I'm going to try to cheat a little bit and put my white down and then create Instead of mixing it ahead of time into a, uh, another container, I'm going to try to create a little light blue section here in there and just uh, stir that up, try to get a little bit of light blue already mixed in. Doesn't have to be real thorough since we're adding all the other colors to it. And I call that my cheat. I like cheating. Here's my black that I've already mixed. I'm gonna try to get it all over the sides here, so hopefully we get kind of a rimmed effect as it comes down. Plenty of black, and then gold. And I'm using these squirt bottles, these condiment bottles, and so I can use it to kind of. I don't have to stir it at all because the the pressure of putting it in does all the stirring for me. Kind of mix it around just a little bit as far as where it goes. And finally, some tones of this, or some squirts of the primary blue. So I've got this pretty much the way that I want it, I do believe. I'll put a little bit more white on top. Try to get it to stay on top. The method seems to work for me. And then call it uh, head and tail, like I did here. So I'm going to do a blue head and tail that goes over there. Probably smaller, and yet I've got um, probably more paint this time. This here, we'll do a flip cup. Let that sit there for a little bit. And the tricky part will be getting that tail over. Yesterday that worked quite well with this one. I'm hoping to keep them from touching, but we'll see. And so, let's see if we got enough of this. And reach pow. Using dimethicone in the colors only, the white and the black have no dimethicone. So I'm trying to get my shape. Ooh. I'm loving those big gray cells right there. They're stretching out beautifully. Hopefully won't break. I'll try to create another loop design by getting the bulk of it to go this way. I'm going to slow things down a little bit. can tell now I'm not going to be able to keep it from going to that tail or covering up the other tail. I'm hoping that I could do that, but it's going to have to just do without. And I'm going to get this to curl this way a little bit. Genuinely loving what's happening here, though. Let me do this. Prop this one up. So it will be slanted. It begins its descent. There.
see if that's enough over there. Go back to this and we'll torch. Which means I need to open my door. So the light will change a little bit, the noise will change a little bit. better ventilation in here. The little cells on the side, purposely not torching the middle, so that it keeps those big cells in there if at all possible. You can kind of see what develops. Look at this. This is getting just where I want it, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to pop all this up after I stop the video. Cups. I am pretty darn happy about that. I might do a little bit of stretching. Stretch the cells out a little bit. I'll work on my overall shape a little bit. going to overwork it. So I'm going to leave it the way that it is right now and be done with it. Thanks for joining me.